guys, welcome to the Dave Dad Show, part two of my music review show. Last week, if you remember, last week I feel like I sound like the guys from Lost in Space. Because baby, it's cold out there. Thanks to Stuart Poley for pulling me, pulling me out. Last week he sent me a song by a band called Life Against Time. I reviewed it and I told you everything I thought about. It. I told you I thought it was a I thought it was about a six. And the main reason I thought it was not above six, I think I gave it a five and a half, was because it's not because of the measurement of how long I am in the in the seat of my pants. It's because I thought it needed, it was a lyric video. When people see lyric videos, just think about MTV. Would MTV have gotten to where they were? Of course, they're, now they're in the fucking gutter. But would they have gotten to where they were if they had lyric videos? No, we want to see the musicians. That's what music's all about. Seeing the guys on the axe, seeing the guys on the drum, seeing the vocalist up there giving the performance of his friggin' life. That's what we want to see. So I critiqued them and I said, you know, I can only give it a five and a half. I felt bad about it. No, I, don't, I never feel bad about shit, right? So what happened is the bass player for the band, he came on and he said it was very cool to see his video and see an honest critique for his video. So uh, Graham Howard, it's another guy like Dave Darren, first name, first name. Graham Howard, that's kind of that's kind of like two last names, right? So they sent me another video. We're going to play it. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't busted my cherry on this video, so I haven't seen it yet. The name of the video is called Surrender. So we're going to check it out together. We're going to come back. I'm going to tell you the quirks and features of the video. We'll be back after we play it. Here we go.
first thing I thought of is I saw the vocalist come up there, and I thought if Crimson Clover, remember him? Crimson Clover was in, he was in Back to the Future. And he's been in other things. I think it was in Pulp Fiction. or No, no, he was in he was in that second, I think the second Charlie's Angel. Crimson Clover. If Crimson Clover and who, if Crimson Clover and Ron Howard had a gangbang with one woman and had a child, it would look like the vocalist of that band. And by the way, here we got Stuart Poley, who's thinking he's seducing me to doing another, to doing more of these shows. You know what? I need another show like I need constipation and I got to force the constipation out my ass. Now, I'm not really interested in doing more radio shows. I do rant and rave shows now. And I do shows where I try to go out into the streets and get people hostile until they want to fucking hit me. So that's what I do now on the Dave Darren show. So I'm going to come out and I'm going to be doing these crazy ass stunts and, and shit just to see if I can see if I can pull talent out of freaks. This is what I thought of the video. I thought, first of all, thank God it wasn't another lyric video. The band looked great. The guys look really good. The instrumentation of this band is really solid. You guys are pretty good. I, I liked it. I, I, I got to raise it up from a five and a half. I would say to, geez, I'd have to listen to it again to really give it an accurate, because the first time you hear a song, how many people hear a song the first time and truly love it? There's some songs like that, but they are like few and far between. You got to listen to it like three or four times before you really get a feel for the song. Now, I'm not going to do that because I wanted this to be my first impression and I didn't preview it. The first thing I noticed is the guys are coming down. Look, looks like an insane asylum. And I, I, I thought I saw, I'll, I'll flash it up here. I thought I saw a place where you could hang yourself. It looks like a place where you'd see a, a serial killer living. So it starts off with that, and boom! Then it goes right into the band playing on stage. And then it opens up to the wide preview of the band. You know, I've said this before. When I see people play, people are out there recording their favorite bands. And they got the cell phone, they got it. Going the up and down. They got it on the vertical instead of the horizontal mode. Whenever you see that, man, the video is going to suck. Because when you got that going up and down like this, you can you can see one guy. You see his whole length. If you're looking to see how big his package is, then I guess this works. But I want to see the whole band. When you guys are out there in gigs and you're playing, you're doing Facebook live shows from the gig, go go horizontal so we can see the whole band. So that this band got it. It's working. Right off the bat, it's pretty good. Right off the bat, it's good. Here we go. Then after that, you got you got the fast notes of the guitar. You got them like shredding and the drummer shredding behind it. That's working. That's pretty cool too. I like that. I'm liking what I hear right off the bat. I had a label on the show probably like five years ago. And they said, the first thing you got to do when you get music out there is to capture people's interest within seven to nine seconds. And you guys did it. I, I like this so far. So far, I would have... If I had if I had no idea you guys had an interest in coming on the show or having Stewart send me a piece of music of you guys and then you guys connecting with me to send me a second piece, if you weren't interested in the show, I would have still listened and I probably would I would have been going past the nine seconds. Now let's see if I can go past that and listen to more. Here we go, guys. Let's check out more. I give myself to you. This is pretty good, right? Coming from me who fucking hates everything, this is pretty good. So we started off with some imagery that worked, and now we're into 49 seconds of the video, and there's vocals already. So we got a whole lot happening here. We got the homicide hallway. Then we get you guys in a, in a horizontal view to see you guys on stage. Boom, pretty quick. And then within 50 seconds, we got the, the vocalist singing some. We got Ron Howard, uh, Crips and Clover out here singing the tune. It's working so so far. You got my interest. I'm gonna keep going. Here we go. I'm about halfway through the video, and you know what? It's pretty good. Now I would say that if you are a metal fan, you will. I think you'll really like this. Now, if you're a rock fan, I think you'll really like it. If you're in the middle, I think you're more close to loving it because. It's kind of a blend of rock and metal. I guess it's closer to metal. But I think if you're really into metal and the harder versions of rock, I think you'll really dig these guys. And thank God they sent me the second video because the first one, like I said, the first one I liked the music, but it suffered from a lack of imagery. This one, we get, we get to know the band. We get to know Ron Howard, Crimson Clover. We get to get know the other guys in the bands. We get to see that they're really good instruments on these guys. They know how to play their instruments. I like it. I don't want to kiss their ass, but I like it. Let's keep going. I will not All right, 
right, I noticed something else. Cinder block walls in the back. That's good because we're talking about an insane asylum. They, they, it looks good. I like it. I, I like insane shit going on in my show. I like insane music. I like insane imagery. I like it. Man, I wish I could fucking hate it, but I like it. Here we go. Let's do some more. I'll check out some more, and then I'm going to come back. Hopefully, I can find something I don't like or critique. And if I can, I'll be honest about it. I'll make some shit up. All right, here we go. I will tell you this, too. That these guys, if they're on stage in front of an audience, they're going to get laid. There's a couple of them that might even get sloppy seconds. Or there's a couple of them that looks like they may be able to do a mom-daughter thing. I don't know, but I think these guys are going to get laid. I want to know from you guys. I want to know. How many takes to do this? How many takes did, it, did you do it in one take, three takes, ten takes? Be honest with me. Tell me because it's done really well. So let me know how many takes it took to get to this level. All right, now we got to a solo. Where, where are we now? We're into the song by three minutes and 15 seconds or something. Now we get a guitar solo. Someone told me, and I don't know if this is true, that there's a lack of guitar solos in today's current music. <clears throat> there's no lack of belches on my show, but someone said that there is a lack. By the way, don't eat curry before you do radio shows. Don't eat curry because it'll make it'll make you belch. It'll make you get need to get up, and it can give you diarrhea. So don't do that while you're trying to do a radio show. It's because if the music sucks, you're going to really need to get the diarrhea out there. But these guys are good. So... We're getting a, a solo here. The solo is good. It's competent. Are we really missing? I haven't noticed that. I haven't focused on that. Are we missing solos in today's music? Let's check it out. Let's check out the rest of the solo. Here we go. guys now that was a solo and it's the vocalist the ron howard guy is actually the guitar player the lead guitar player and the lead vocals this guy this, be careful with this guy he's a breakaway artist keep him in the band kiss his ass get him laid pay if he if he's having a drive spell then i then just book the guy a couple hookers or something like that keep this guy in the band this guy's solid so we got to hear a solo we got to hear some really good fuck i usually hate everything Mikey hates everything. Remember that commercial with Mikey? Give it to Mikey. He loves everything. I don't love anything. These guys are good, though. I like it. I, shit. I like it. This would have been a much more fun interview if I didn't like it, but here we go. So Stuart did send me a second one. I haven't played this one either. You're going to hear the next song, which I'm going to do a critique of as well, and then I'll play Surrender again at the end of the show. So you, you, get, you get to hear this song kind of like two and a half times. The second time in the middle was broken all apart. But it's a tribute to a song that I actually like. Shit. Shit, I liked it. I'm going to write it down. Shit. Shit, I liked it. On the Dave Darren Show. Here we go. I'm going to play the second song right now. I don't, I don't know what it is. I haven't heard it. I haven't seen it. Hopefully, hopefully I can become a nightmare and hate the song and do a crazy interview. Here we go. <laughs>
And welcome back to the Dave Dash Show. You just heard and saw Florence Black. The track was called Smoke. Stuart, I fucking hate you, man. You're blowing my cover. I'm never a, I'm never a nice guy. These bands were good, man. In fact, Smoke, I got to tell you. Florence Black, I got to give you I got to give you even more points than I did for the previous video. These guys are really good. I mean, I got to give them like an eight and a half, and that's only because I'm a stuck-up prick that won't give people tens. I got to give them, I'll give them an 8.75. Oh, now, I'll give them that God. little point two five. I, I thought the music was tremendous. I thought the energy, the energy was there right off the first note. The energy was right there. The instruments were precise. These guys are really talented. A guy, fuck, Stuart. There was one part where it was kind of like, a, like a, a, a single note being stretched a little bit, and I thought, oh, I need more than that. I need more than that. And then it went into a solo. So it was really pretty cool stuff. 7.5 for Surrender. 8.75 for Smoke. Both tremendous pieces of music. Check out these both bands. Stuart, I, I will do a third show for you. You got to send me something that sucks. That's it on the Dave Darren Show. I'm sure Stuart's going to send me some more shit since I said for me to send me some real shit. And... I'll see if I can pull talent out of freaks. Thanks, man. See ya.